Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Libra. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys today. So for a lot of you, you're questioning your love life. You're questioning if love is for you. Because you're giving up on the idea of love in general. You're tired of being patient. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of giving and trying to attract the right type of relationship. You have had to defend yourself against everyone and everything that has come into your orbit for the longest while. And yet still none of them could meet your expectation or want the type of commitment that you want. So you're at your wit's end right now when it comes to manifesting a personal relationship. You feel like it's not working for you, it's not going to work for you. And it's just wasting your time. Yeah, because you don't see anyone coming towards you or you wanting anyone to come towards you. And you're tired of being patient and waiting for the right thing to happen to you. You want this new beginning and you want it now. But instead, the only thing you keep going back to is the heartache and heartbreak that brought you to this point. The bitterness that you felt, although you're trying to let go of it. You feel like it's not going to work out for you the way you want it to. So there is someone coming towards you very soon with a love offer. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. This feeling that you're having right now that things are not working out in your favor or is not working out for you. It's the restlessness that you feel before your manifestation comes into fruition. Yeah. You kept focused and you kept working on manifesting a specific person and a specific relationship. But you started to give up hope as to it coming true or it happening for you. You started to feel like it was a waste of your time. This isn't meant for you. Things are not working out for you the way you wanted to. And it's just that sense of I'm ready to give up. That is finally bringing you something that you've been wanting, which is someone coming towards you to give you a new relationship. It is going to happen pretty quickly and suddenly. But for a lot of you, you're really at your wit's end right now. Yeah. You're getting ready to move on from the idea of a relationship meant for you. Because it's like you gave up on ever finding the right person to give you the type of commitment that you want. Which is marriage, home, family, that sort of stuff. You've moved away from a lot of things and a lot of people. You've cut out a lot of things in your life. Yeah, you walked away from people that were not reciprocating you. And you felt like you did everything right, yet still what you were desiring were not coming towards you. But it was when you started to love yourself and walk away from toxic cycles and people, you were actually attracting the person that is meant to come into your orbit. Even though that may have taken a bit longer than you would have liked, the time that it took to bring this person towards you, it's time that you took to heal. So you have done the healing work on yourself and things are finally turning around in your favor. Yeah, because you had a lot of things that you were concerned with or worried about that you needed to deal with. And although you may have felt that you left it behind, you didn't leave it behind, you were actually carrying it with you. 
and that was actually blocking your way from the person that was meant to come to you to come to you so the timing just wasn't right there was a lot of secrets that needed to be exposed you needed to learn to trust yourself and your intuition you needed to walk in faith rather than by sight yeah you learn to withdraw from people you learn to walk away from things that was not good for you now you're living your best life you've done a glow up you've done an overhaul you've done a change you now live your passions you now live life with the same urgency that you've always wanted to live life with and things are finally going to start to pick up for you the way you want it to pick up yeah you're about to start living your best life here but you have to make the choice do you give up any type of relationship that you want or do you recognize the experience that you've had as the awakening that was meant for you to have yeah there is someone coming in to you this person could be younger than you <clears throat> but they are going to match your energy and your vitality for life just make sure that you don't put out the wrong energy when this person comes towards you because you might feel that they are lying to you manipulating you or cheating on you and that may set things on a different course trust that the healing you have done on yourself will bring you the type of person that you deserve because for a lot of you you had to go through this difficult period this period of you being on pause for so long was meant to happen in order for you to come full circle with yourself. So the longer you took to really find yourself in this situation, is the longer it took for this person to show up for you. But you are about to get your wishes fulfilled. You are about to have emotional fulfillment. You are about to meet your soulmate. Yeah. You gave up on communication, on chasing your passion, on wanting to manifest a marriage or a long-term commitment. Because you felt like manifestation was not working for you. It is. It is actually working for you. Now that you've grown up and live and is living your best life, it, it is definitely bringing you to that energy frequency that attracts things to you with ease. Right? So you are stuck a bit in the past carrying a lot of things that you shouldn't be carrying and the universe was waiting for you to realize that it needed to fall away from your life yeah there is a new beginning coming here for you when it comes to passion when it comes to a soulmate connection that is definitely on the horizon for you and it is going to happen sooner than you think someone is about to match your energy and show up in your life yeah Mm -hmm. could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer but this person will be emotionally ready to start and be in a committed relationship with you though things were slow in coming the reason why this person was slow in coming towards you because when they do get to you this is something that is stable, grounded and committed so it's not something flaky that you would have to go back and forth with this person already would be emotionally ready and stable to take you into the direction you want to go in. You needed to find clarity in yourself and in your situation. But there are a lot of new beginnings coming here for you. But you have to decide that you are worth it. Because you are the only one keeping yourself back here from receiving it. Yep. It's time for you to let go the limiting beliefs that you might have concerning manifestation and your person. And stop trying to force things to happen that isn't meant to happen in due course everything will find you it's time for you to get over the hurt and pains of the past and stand in your power use your head over your heart in making decisions here cut out what no longer serves you that is the energy that you have been in or that the universe wanted you to be in in order to bring this towards you to bring someone that is emotionally ready somebody that is stable somebody that is grounded somebody that wants things you do but you are going to have the victory here sooner than you may anticipate now that you're feeling like it's not going to work for you ever it's when things are going to finally turn over for you so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one